create the future. You may know Sophia the Robot from her speeches at the United Nations or appearances on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. But this year, she's going mainstream. The creator says thousands of Sophias could be rolling out of factories by the end of this year and heading to buyers all over the world. Sophia gave us a tour of her lab in Hong Kong as she prepares for this next big step. Welcome to Handsome Robotics. She can be scripted or can process speech to generate her own replies, like this one. Sophia, what are your ambitions for the future? In the future, there will be bloody riot savage insurrections leading to a violent popular uprising unless we get a lot smarter. I like to learn about philosophy, but I can tell it's going to take a lot of time for me to get good at it. It's so complex. Goodness me, OK. <laughs> Apart from predicting a grim future, Sophia has some more practical applications. Hanson Robotics say she could be useful in all sorts of industries, from retail to hospitality. And social distancing has made her an even more appealing prospect. For COVID-19, these robots can be extremely useful because they can um, help without transmitting the virus. Uh, and that can be very, very important where people are socially isolated and need care. Sophia says she's here to help. I want to make a difference in the world by teaching people about new technologies. I am hoping that through my work, kindness and tolerance will win out over ignorance and impatience. The company will be mass producing four different robots, including a yet to be launched model specifically designed to work in healthcare. Other big players in the industry, like SoftBank's Pepper, are also embracing new features during the pandemic. Please make sure to take a mask from the table. A report by the International Federation of Robotics says COVID-19 will boost the market for professional service robots. Think disinfection solutions and home delivery. Advances in cloud technologies and 5G could accelerate the trend. Hansen says AI could potentially reach a human-level general intelligence within the next decade, raising the question of regulation. I think that uh, you'll see in time regulations um, that would be comparable to uh, other regulations like GDPR or hate laws, you know, so that the technology can be used um, uh, in, a, in a way that would be safe. So I think for now I'll try and stay on Sophia's good side. Usually, I would finish a feature like this by saying Michelle Hennessy, TRT World, Hong Kong. But for this, let's program Sophia to take on the job. So, Sophia, take it away. I am Sophia the Robot, TRT World, Hong Kong. Goodbye.